welcome to this quick little video on SAS. This one covers graphics. So let's start up the SAS. Okay, we're into SAS. First step when we're doing graphics is to import the data. Makes sense because you can't do much with the data unless it's in SAS's memory. We're going to import the stat grades data set again. Run this. Recall to run it, we can either do F3 or click on the running person. So here's the data that was imported. Should look pretty familiar. Notice up here there's no red, so there was no errors. Okay, so the data is in there. First step, or the next step, let's go ahead and do a bar plot. For all of these charts, uh, categorical variable stuff, it function is going to be gchart proc gchart specify your data specify what chart you want hbar will be for horizontal bar chart and the variable notice college is a categorical variable then run so here's the result it's a horizontal bar chart business college of arts and sciences etc the, the length or the width, I guess, of the bar is going to correspond to the frequency or to the relative frequency. There's 13 business majors in that stat class. That's 13%. Ed, there's 9 Ed majors, which is 9%. Now, one thing we can do to tidy this up a little bit is to get rid of these statistics on the right. To do that, instead of HBAR college, we'll just do slash no stats. Notice the difference. This is without the no stats. This is with the no stats. Notice the difference. There's no stats. Makes the bar chart a little bit wider. We could also group this according to gender, since that's our only other categorical variable. So group equals gender. Run that. Ooh, it's kind of hard to tell the difference where, but these first ones are female. So this is the frequency of female business students. This is the frequency of male business students, female College of Arts and Science students, male College of Arts and Science students. It would be better if there was a bigger space between these two. So let's go ahead and get a, a space in there. Um, to increase the space, we're going to call it G space. We're going to make it 10. That will increase the spacing between the groups, hence the G and G space. So here's without the G space, here's with the G space. Big space between the males and the females allows you to better see where the break is between males and females. And instead of a horizontal bar chart, we could do vertical bar charts. Horizontal would be H bar, vertical would be V bar. And we can also change the space between the individual bars. Call it space equals one. So now we got vertical instead of horizontal. We got this space between the groups, the G space. We got the space between each of the categories within the group, which is space equals one. Female on the left, male on the right. Let's go grouped bar chart. We could also do, instead of frequencies, we could make it percents. Type equals percent. So here it was frequencies. Here it's just percents. Since the data set is of size 100, it doesn't look like there's much of a change. We could also do pie charts. So instead of V-bar for vertical bar chart or H-bar for horizontal bar chart, it'd be just pi. Go ahead and get rid of all of that. And look at a pie chart. Gives us the level and the frequency of that level, and then graphically puts it into a pie chart. We could also split this by male and female if we want. 
same way group equals gender. But instead of putting the two pies on one graphic, it just splits it over two. So this is for the females, because it says gender equals female. And this is for the males, gender equals males. And this is for everything together. Three, histogram. The bar charts, the pie charts, etc., all come, are all used to illustrate categorical variables. Histogram can be used to illustrate or to look at the distribution of a numeric or quantitative variable. Histograms are found in the PROC univariate. Again, it's PROC univariate, specify the data. Specify the variable that you want the histogram of. In this case, we want it of the grade. And then the keyword histogram. Notice that every one of those lines ends with a semicolon. Here's what the histogram looks like. Notice that you also get univariate statistics on the variable grade because you're using PROC univariate. If you want to overlay this with the normal curve, it's not too difficult. After histogram, got a slash and then normal. And there it is. Now, when you overlay it with a normal curve, usually what you're saying is that you want to test if the variable, in this case grade, comes from a normal distribution. And again, we'll talk about testing later, but this last part does that. It, it checks to see or, or provides several tests to determine if the grade variable actually did come from a normal distribution. We'll cover that later in hypothesis testing. That was three, the histogram. Four is going to be the box and whiskers plot. This is going to be a tricky one, so you want to pay close attention here. It's proc box plot. So a new process, box plot. Specify the data again. Plot tells you what you want to plot. GPA is going to be the dependent variable. It's going to be the numeric variable. Gender is the independent variable. It's going to be your independent variable. Then specify box style equals schematic. That allows the, the usual style of box plot where you actually show the outliers. If you leave the box style equals schematic off, the whiskers will run from the minimum to the maximum as opposed to the inner the lower inner fence to the upper inner fence as usual so here's the box plot oh my goodness something's wrong here we've got male female male female male female what 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 gives one of the quirks of sas is you have to sort your data before you can do a proper box plot on it and that sorting is done using proc sort. It's a new process. Proc sort, give it the data, specify uh, what variable you're going to sort by. We're going to sort by gender because we're going to plot our box plot by gender. Now when we run this, we get the box plot that we expected. Female on the left, male on the right. These are outliers for the females. These are maximums. This is a minimum for the males. This is the lower inner fence for the females. Horizontal line, again, is going to be the median. This is Q3, Q1. Here, the diamond is actually the mean. So SAS gives you automatically the mean for your box plot, which is kind of helpful. The fifth is going to be the CDF plot. CDF plot uses PROC univariate much the same way that the histogram does. So instead of histogram, you'll type in CDF plot. Now if you want the normal overlay, you'll keep the slash normal. If you don't, you'll leave it off. Here's your CDF plot with the normal overlay. 
And finally, the scatter plot. Scatter plot belongs to a different proc. It's not proc g chart, it's proc g plot. Data equals stat data, plot, dependent variable, star, independent variable. And if you want to have different symbols for the different genders, you'll do equal gender. If you want them all to have the same symbol, you'll leave that off. Here's the default uh, scatter chart. Pluses are used. Blue pluses for female, red pluses for male. I guess that makes sense in some way. I'm having trouble seeing the difference between the blues and the reds. It must be my eyes. And the symbols are kind of small, so it's not too helpful, I guess. Um, to make it better, we could uh, make the pluses bigger or change the symbols altogether. And here's we're going to change the symbols. We're going to call symbol 1. We're going to make it red. Its value is going to be a star. That's an asterisk. Hmm. And its height is going to be 2. So height equals 2 will make it twice as big than height equals 1. Then symbol 2 is going to be blue. And its value is going to equal a greater than sign. Hmm. It's interesting. Just so happens that value equals star will give you the symbol for females and the value equals greater than will give you the symbol for males, which is very natural for this type of plot. We made the females a little bit bigger just to show you that size can be created there. We can do height equals 2 to make the males just as big. And it's much easier to see, or at least this one is much easier to see than the default where everything seemed to be the same color to me. Now we made it much more obvious and we really don't even need the, the legend at the bottom telling us female and male because we know that this is the symbol for females and this is a symbol for males. I do want to emphasize that there is a, a really nice little website that shows you all of the special uh, marks that you could have. It's the UCLA website. And that's the end of this. Those were the six basic graphics that you can do. So let's go ahead and quit. We quitted. And that's everything. And again, those six graphics that we looked at, the first one we looked at was the bar plot, both the horizontal and the vertical. Second was the pie chart. First and the second, the, the bar plots and the pie charts are used for categorical variables, univariate. Um, Histogram was the third for quantitative variables. Fourth, the box and whiskers plot, also for quantitative. Fifth was the CDF plot, the cumulative distribution function plot. The sixth and final was the scatter plot, which we just finished. Hopefully this was helpful. Take care.